Many of our phones today are more powerful than our tablets or PCs. So why not use your phone as your PC? The Samsung DeX will allow you to do just that, either wirelessly or using an HDMI adapter. In this video, I'm going to set up, install, and use Samsung DeX with an HDMI hub. So let's check it out. I'm Bertrand, Tech Man. Every week, I enjoy producing tech videos or giving tech tips, helping you to plug into technology. Now, before we get busy, help a tech brother out. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so hit that doggone subscribe button and give me a like. Okay, so what is Samsung DeX? Samsung DeX is a desktop operating system that runs on multiple Samsung devices. The Samsung BB DeX software platform adds more functionality to your smartphone or tablets and turn it into a full-fledged desktop PC using a monitor or a PC. Which devices use the Samsung DeX with the adapter? Here's the list. What are some of the main features of Samsung DeX? It connects to another monitor or TV with, with an HDMI output, a PC-like desktop interface, keyboard shortcuts, mouse pointer, drag and drop, mouse and keyboard support via Bluetooth or USB Type-C, resizable multiple windows, enhanced notifications, and up to five active windows open simultaneously. What are the accessories that you will need? A link to all these accessories will be in the description below. To get started with Samsung DeX, first of all, you're going to need a device that is capable. You need a monitor or PC, an HDMI cable, a HDMI adapter, preferably one that has multiple ports like the one that I'm using here, a Bluetooth keyboard, and a Bluetooth mouse. How to set it up. You want to connect your HDMI hub with your mouse dongle to the phone itself, and then it will automatically connect. Check to see if your mouse is working. Next, you want to go and log into your settings to set up your keyboard. Look for a keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard, and then hit connect. You may also be asked to type in a verification code on your keyboard to complete the pairing. Now, hold on a doggone minute. Now, did you hit that like button yet? Hey, again, help a tech brother out. The interface is just like a desktop. For example, the apps tray is located at the bottom of your screen on the far left, the grid with nine dots. When you click on it, all of your apps will be arranged in the same way that they are on your device. To locate exactly what you're searching for, you may either navigate across screens or use the search bar. Now, you get a menu with various different options when you hit the app tray icon. For example, if you need to leave your uh, computer for a moment, you can lock Dex. And you may also switch to screen monitoring or leave it in the Dex mode here. Now, the other three symbols in the bottom left bar on your screen will be familiar to you. They're the same recent home and back icons you'll see at the bottom of your device screen. Now, there are shortcuts for switching programs and returning to your desktop. You may also use the shortcuts to the right of this menu to get to your current app open apps. The volume control is located at the right of the toolbar. To change the volume, click the symbol. 
You have the opportunity to modify the audio output as well. You can listen to music on your smartphone or through the speaker on the link display if it has that capability. The screenshot tool is next to the toolbar and it allows you to rapidly capture your deck screen and whatever else you're looking at. Notifications are the circle number on the right of the toolbar and they indicate that you have simple access to your device notifications. To see all of your notifications, simply tap the number. Then you have the quick setting menu. It is located on the far right of the screen. The one that you normally access by swiping down from the top of your device. Uh, the battery life, Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity, as well as the time and the date are also displayed here. The mouse works just like a mouse does with drag and drop. The keyboard works just like a keyboard. You can use side-by-side -side apps just like on your Windows, but it's mostly resemble Chrome. OS apps such as Microsoft Office, Adobe Acrobat, Lightroom, and Photoshop are well optimized for Dex. Gmail and Chrome not so optimized. Now the Samsung browser is really optimized and it gives you the best most genuine browser experience. Any movie apps that you have on your phone will play in full 1080p and the audio is as good as the audio on your phone or the monitor itself, if it has that capability. Now you can use it and any apps that can be used in the browser will give you the best experience. The social media apps like Twitter and Facebook are not optimized and didn't work well. The messenger does not resize but continues to function. Twitter is undoubtedly the most functional of the basic social apps, with Instagram coming in a close second. One advantage is that these apps can be used in the browser instead if they don't operate to your liking. The same is true for video apps like Netflix and HBO Max. Both of these should be seen in your browser rather than in your apps. My final thoughts. Apart from a few idiosyncrasies, DeX is a complete desktop platform. With the exception of any Windows specific business software and assuming correct setup. I see no reason why DeX could not be used in the place of your laptop or computer on a daily basis to do normal desktop operations. It also has the advantage of combining your smartphone experience and apps that you can normally only access on your phone into a desktop experience, eliminating the need to transfer apps between your phone and your laptop. But if you want to do some serious video editing, you will need a more robust system like a regular laptop or desktop. If you found value in this video, give me a like, hit that subscribe button, Ring the doggone bell and comment, and I will see you in my next video. Remember, before you buy anything, always first, check it out.